Last May, he was undaunted as he prepared to face the challenge Jared Hurd presented. Being a 6-1 to underdog, it just made him lock in. I love it when people say I can't do something. It draws me to, to want to do it even more just to shut people up. When I walk out there and I see all those fans and I see that band getting ready to march, it fueled me. It didn't make me nervous. I was so motivated and I knew I was going to shut everybody up. Out. Everybody thought we was going to run. We stepped right to him. Oh! And he landed that right. He loaded up on that. We saw J Rock take the aggressive stance coming forward right off the bat. They started exchanging, and Julian got the better of the exchanges, and he uh, hit him with a left hook. Oh, the right! And then a left by Oh! Turn in the ropes! It was one of those flash knockdowns where he hit him in the top of the head and messed up his equilibrium. It was a good shot. I didn't even get all the mustard on the shot. It's just that where I hit him at, it's actually a shot that we worked on in the gym. I got the knockdown. I thought he was hurt, but I didn't think he was like out of it. So I went to his body. I wanted to submit that round, not give him nothing back. So I closed the round out. But I knew it was only the second round it was too early. That's what we needed. And we just gonna just keep turning it up, turning it up, turning it up. First two rounds, looking like Williams has him. And we'll begin round three of this title fight. So Williams is gonna have a lot more confidence coming in. And he's showing it oh. now. He's got Bird into the corner. He's swinging away. Jared stepped to him a little bit. He landed a good shot. And there's that uppercut that Hurd throws very well. He needed to get hit with that shot. So like, all right, now what? He ate the shot. Let's move on. Let's go. Hurd is known as a slow starter. He better hurry up and get started. Man, Williams, this is a great fight. But Williams is just putting on a show against the champion. I was so focused. And I was so hungry. I was so determined to win. I didn't care how I had to do it, what I had to do. I just knew I needed to win. I knew I was going to win. While Williams had success and built a slim lead through the first six rounds, Hurd's game plan was built on the strength of him dominating the second half of his fight. Like I said, the perception and everything, the perception he comes back in the later rounds is only because he loses so early. Oh, big right hand by Hurd. And Hurd is pouring it on. This is what Hurd needs to do. The second half of the fight, Jared Hurd almost always owns it. This notion that he starts late, he's going to come on late. I think that's a flaw that they try to cover up. Nobody wants to get punched in their face and lose rounds. I think it's a flaw that they covered up, and we took advantage of it. Hurd is pushing forward, but Williams is not allowing him to push him backwards. He sits around and tries to step on the gas late. But if a truck's trying to run you over, you flatten the tires. Well, he was going to his body. He was hitting him with different shots in his head. And he was getting a beating put on him. Oh, go! Oh, up by an uppercut. Oh! Oh, is he still standing? This is highly unusual to see her struggling in the later rounds. Get second wins, and sometimes you can just keep turning it up and turning it up. And we was able to turn it to a place that Jared couldn't go. And Jared was trying. I mean, that's why it was a great fight. But it just seemed like Julian was always a little bit ahead of him. I hear athletes talk about being in the zone. I never really experienced it. I was in the zone that fight. And I just knew there was nothing he could do to beat me. Yo, listen. Yo, three minutes and you're the champion of the world. Keep your hands up. You hear me? Keep your hands up and keep landing that hook. I just knew I had him. I was winning rounds. He was tired. I was hurting him. All the way to the bell. Great fight. I hugged him even before the announcement came out. I just knew. I said, we got him, man. <laughs> I'm laughing because he couldn't pick me up all the way. But nevertheless, I remember him jumping in the ring. He was extremely happy. We have a unanimous decision. And the new unified super welterweight champion of the world, Julian J. Rock Williams. We got it. We're the champs of the world. Nobody could take it away from us. That's what I thought. I said, we the champs. We got him. They announced me the winner, and then I was happy. I was extremely confident. I was focused as well, and I was so determined. 
I think I'd have been 50 50 with anybody in the history of boxing from 147 to 160 on that particular night. 